Hey what's up guys, in this video I will be showing you some of the apps that I use the most on my Nexus 6. Basically stock Android lacks few applications, for example file manager, video player etc. So in this video we will be talking about few apps which will enhance the Nexus 6 experience. So without any further ado, let's get started. Since we get a 2K display on the Nexus 6, we will be looking for high resolution wallpapers. So we have this app called Wallbuntu, which provides us with awesome QSD wallpapers. We get a very easy to use user interface. Over here you get the wallpaper preview. You can tap here to shuffle the wallpapers. Let me quickly show it to you. And every time you shuffle the wallpaper, your wallpaper gets updated. And in case if you want to save any of the pic on your gallery, tap this icon and hit download wallpaper. Also you can set update intervals for your wallpaper like every hour, every morning etc. So that this will automatically update your wallpaper as per your given time. So one of the best wallpaper application for high resolution pictures. The next one here is the ES File Explorer. We all know that the stock Android lacks a file manager. So this is one of the best file manager for your Android. Plus this file manager also helps extracting zip files, compressing folders etc. So this is the home page. Here you have all the files that are on your internal storage. And from here you can view your history. At the bottom you have options to create a new folder, search, refresh, change the view style and active windows. Active windows is where you have all the open folders so you can switch between them. To move or edit any files simply tap and hold and here you have the options to copy, cut, delete rename and a lot of other options like hide, encrypt, compress, extract and we also have the Chromecast support. So this is a great add-on if you want to cast music folders via this app. You also can move files and folders by dragging and dropping. As well as you have options to share, copy, move or delete. Here we have a slider menu for accessing files from various categories like favorites, local storage locations, library, network, bluetooth and also cloud storages. We have additional tools for managing downloads, music player, hidden lists, recycle bin options, root explorer to view and edit the system files if you are rooted, gestures for creating gestures to quickly perform any task like launching an app or going to any specific folder. Say for example if I draw M, it will take me to my music folder. Also we have options to show or hide the hidden files and folders, theme settings for customizing the UI of this app and many more. Another key feature of this app is that this app comes with its own audio player, video player, web browser and even a file extractor or compressor so that you will not have to use any other apps. You can also add a shortcut to any folder on your home screen by placing a widget. So guys with a single app you can manage files on your device, you can manage uh, files on your cloud storages as well as you get lots of tools for various purpose. So a great all in one file manager. The next one here is the MX player. Another important feature missing on the stock android is the video player. We do get the option to play videos from the photos app but it's not perfect like it does not support various video formats. MX Player is by far one of the best video player on the Play Store. It supports a wide range of video formats like AVI, MKV, WMV and many more. When you start the app, you get all your folders having videos files. At the bottom, you have a shortcut to playback. You can refresh, search for videos. Network Stream is where you can give a URL of a video and play video via this app. You have options to choose view, select files and folders and settings for the video player, decoder, audio etc. While playing a video, here you have the regular video controls. You can seek the video by sliding left or right. Slide up and down on the left hand side for the brightness controls and right hand side for the volume controls. Another cool feature with the volume slider is that you can increase the volume up to 200% which comes in very handy while watching video with low audios. 
Another handy feature is you can disable interactions while watching videos by tapping onto this lock icon. You can pinch in and out to zoom the video, choose landscape or portrait mode, choose decoder, audio track, options for playback, display, subtitle and many more. So a must have video player for your Android. The next one here is a better camera. The camera app is not perfect on the Nexus devices. So this app can be a great replacement to the stock camera app for your Nexus. As you can see we have the camera interface here. We get the shutter button, shortcut to gallery and options to choose different camera modes like single shot, burst mode, multi shot, video mode and many more. You can drag this slider to zoom in and out and swipe for the grid mode. Sliding from the side will give you additional options to control exposure, focus modes which is great for different picture types, choose white balance so you get a lot of manual controls apart from the regular ones and many other options including level, barcode scanner etc. You can go to more settings to choose the image size, accents, viewfinder settings etc. You also get this shortcut to purchase different features for this camera and you can also turn on the DRO mode for great low light pictures. So one of the best camera app with manual controls. The next one here is the Pixel R Express. This is one of the best photo editing application. The pictures you take from your phone is not always perfect. So you will need a photo editing app to edit your camera shots and make it look perfect. Firstly select your picture from your gallery or take a picture from your camera. Then choose adjustments and here you get all the necessary tools like focal where you can adjust the focus. Sharpen, brighten, crop, heal, rotate and many more. Next you can download from a huge collection of effects, overlays, borders, add text to pictures and also add stickers. Once you are done with your editing, you can save the picture and define its resolution as well. Another cool thing about this app is that you also get a collage mode to stitch different pictures into one and I must say that this app provides the best collage mode options. You can Select the pictures you want to stitch and here you have a lot of layouts to choose from. As you can see here, you can select the background, spacing between the pictures, roundness and proportions as well. So overall a great photo editing application. The next one here is the Toucher Pro. Nexus 6 is a big phone and phone this big needs a special app that can give you a quick access to your shortcuts, your favorite apps and many more. Toucher Pro is one of the best application for that purpose. After installing this app, you will get a floating icon on your screen. You can place it anywhere you want and long pressing the icon will hide it on the notification bar. So here you have your time, date and your battery percentage. You can quickly launch your dialer, SMS app. And again, you have tools like clearing memory, multitask, go to your home screen, launch torch, change themes, which I'll be talking about in a bit. Lower below, you have got favorites, where you can add apps, shortcuts, folders, widgets that you use the most. We have all the necessary toggles, volume controls, and weather info. Back to the app, we have variety of themes to choose from. Each theme has its own UI and the way of interactions. You can also select points and from the slider menu, you can add various features like gestures, change scroll effect, panel size and many more. From settings, you can enable or disable this app. 
you have settings for auto launch, point settings for customizing the floating icon, tab settings, animation options, scroll effects and so on. So great app for shortcuts and multitasking. The next one here is the pictures. With Android Lollipop, the gallery app on the Nexus devices was replaced with Google's own photos app, which is not perfect again. So this app is a great replacement for your pictures and videos. As you can see, we have our camera roll here. You can slide from the left to browse through camera folders, all images and other folders having image files. You can also manage albums from here. Sliding from the right will give you option to filter pictures and videos according to its type and location. At the top, you have options to select images to move, share or delete. View images by calendars and other options. So a great gallery application. The next one here is the AZ screen recorder. With this app you can record the screen of your device. As soon as you launch the app you get this floating widget. Tapping on the shutter button will start recording the screen with the audio. The best thing about this app is that you don't have to be rooted or you don't get any time limits. You can pause or stop the screen recording from the notification bar. Next we have its settings. Here you can choose the resolution of the video, bitrate, orientation, audio recording, choose time limits, change directory and so on. You can directly jump to recorded screen files from here and this icon is for exiting the app. The next one here is Yahoo Weather, a very functional weather app with all the details like upcoming weather, maps, wind and pressure, sunrise and sunset, etc. Another key feature of this app is that the background that you see is based on weather and location and all these images are pulled from Flickr. You also get a slider menu for additional options for location, other apps from Yahoo and settings. You also get a very nice looking weather widget as well as you get widgets on various sizes. So a very fancy weather widget and weather app for stock Android. Next is the TubeMate. We have done a full in-depth review of this app. I will leave a link in the description for that. The only thing that is worth mentioning on this app again is that since Nexus 6 houses a 2K display, now you can download 2K videos from YouTube or other video sites. The last one for today's episode is the Locket. This is a great app to bring your favorite news feed to your lock screen. On startup, you have to set this app like you can choose your interested topics like tech, sports, business, photography, etc. and then sign in. Then you have a tutorial on how to use this lock screen. Now whenever you unlock your device, you get this stylish lock screen with time and weather widget at the top. You get the trending feed based on the topics you have selected and then you can slide left or right to browse through the articles. Below you have options to read the full article, share the article, save the article for offline access and you have these options to open camera or unlock your device. Back to the app you have your saved stories, change your interests and settings of this app. So a great app to utilize your lock screen, I would say a great integration of news app as well as a lock screen into a single app. So that's all for this video guys, I hope you found it useful, I will be coming up with another episode very soon, stay tuned for that and you guys have a great time.